I am looking for a little bit of wood in amongst a sea of wood. So this one's about pine needle baskets and I've done a few as experiments before. Some I'm happy with and some I'm not. So one of the first ones I did I was that was actually okay. I did alright with that one. And then the second one I sort of rushed it, got in a mess. Third one I got in a mess with the weave. So when you look at it, it's like it's there and it works and it's a basket. But I can see from the weave, like when you do the string and the loops round, it's just a bit, a bit of a disaster really. You have to really concentrate. And so the last one I did, although there are a couple of inaccuracies in it, I'm happy with that one. Anyway, what I thought I'd do, so I've just put the pine needle, pine needle, pine needles into soak. So you have to use dry pine needles, apparently. Otherwise your basket shrinks and goes all floppy and squishy. So I sourced my pine needles over the winter, dried them under cover, brought them into the house, dried them on some newspaper even more, and then took, put them into storage. So they're a little bit green still, which I quite like the idea of that. You have to soak them, not only to get them pliable, but also to kill any fungus and bacteria and bugs that might be hibernating in there. So they're in soak. I'm just about to prep a little nugget of timber for the base. So the one I did first was completely woven base and sides, but I do like the idea of using timber. If you know me, then you'll know that. So I've got this U log. This is U from Catton, Catton Estate. And what I want is I want that there so I'm going to cut it off and then sand off that and then drill some holes and anyway I'll bring you along and you'll see. There we go, so we've got our disc. Just say hello. go look that's all right that is I use a little two millimeter drill now this is how we do it there we go look get that awesome so I'll sand off in pencil mark soften the edges up. In the 100 subscriber episode I mentioned that I would do a giveaway. I just couldn't get it together that one and I didn't really know what to do about it all. Anyway <clears throat> at the end of that I said well, why not make a make something as a giveaway for the next subscriber milestone which for me would be 200. 200 subscribers and that's you guys. You guys are the ones that say yes I'm gonna subscribe to this channel and uh, hopefully watch whatever comes if it interests me and and that is i really do appreciate that and i've talked to, on all the wood logs about uh i think there's still youtube wants you to have subscribers even though there seems to be a trend away from subscriber numbers being important but for me they're important because subscriber numbers mean that's you registering an interest in what i do which is great anyway so we're near we're getting quite close to the 200 subscriber milestone as i record this one about 184 i think and so what i've done is i've made a pine needle basket hopefully i'll overlay me doing this little chit chat with some b-roll of me making a pine needle basket so i went to the workshop select a little bit of a, a u disc drill some holes in it and then pine needles I collected about six months ago from a pine I felled, took the crown out, selected some. In fact, just behind me, just behind me here, just there, look, you've got some of the branches that I've stored underneath my barn just to keep them dry. And you see how they've gone quite sort of a wizened greenish colour. Anyway, that's the needles drying out. Eventually they'll go very much more brown. So I've had the needles, some of the needles at home as well, stored in the dry. Uh, knowing that I wanted to do a pine needle course, well, I don't know whether that's going to come off yet because it's all gone very quiet. But uh, 
even so I like making them and I think they're a nice little thing to, to share about so what I thought was we'll do a 200 subscriber giveaway with the pine needle basket that I make on this one so the idea is that by the time I release this video we will hit just about 200 subscribers so the deal is all you need to do is write in the comment section underneath a up woodlanders doesn't matter how you spell it I'm not really interested in how you spell it just put a up woodlanders in the comments then what we'll do is after about a week or so of letting the comments come in we'll pick one of the commenters and that one will win the pine needle basket now I've done some research into postage and I think I'm right in saying that if it's something small like that I think I can send it anywhere in the world and what it is it's a celebration of the fact that you subscribe to me it's not a celebration of the fact that I've done anything particularly fantastic um, I just wanted to uh, sort of generate some enthusiasm for you subscribers it's not about me getting even more subscribers just so they can get a free pine needle basket um, I mean if that's what you want that's fine but that's not my purpose in making the pine needle basket and giving it to one of you guys it's more about I just wanted to give you that opportunity that little bit of a buzz knowing that there's there was a reward potentially a one in 200 chance of getting a pine needle basket that's been made by me from pine needles up at our woodland uh, using just very simple techniques that you can probably learn yourself and I used a book actually what I'll do is I'll link that in the description below uh, there's an Amazon affiliate link and there's about three pence of every book if you buy one from Amazon through the link then I get about three pence of the value of the book it doesn't actually add any more value on to you it doesn't cost you any more it's just sort of like a reward program for Amazon Anyway, I hope one of you wins it, and please comment. If you, want, if you only get one comment, there's only one winner. So if you want to stand a chance of being in it, you've got to comment. Uh, a up Woodlanders, that's all there is to it. And, and I look forward to announcing the winner in about a week's time. See you soon.